Oh, hi. Uh, it, what's been going on with me? It's been a rough day for me today. Uh, this woman came up to me and she said, did you know that I saw on Dr. Drew that if you don't make it by the time you're 30 as a woman in the entertainment business, then you're never gonna make it? Yeah, I was like, thanks, Mom. <laughs> you always know how to give me just what I need. Uh, <laughs> and on top of that, you know, something's really been irritating me lately. Have you seen uh, the women carrying their little tiny dogs oh. in their big purses? Right? And, and they're bringing them into restaurants and stuff, which is gross. But they're always like, this is my service dog. <laughs> <laughs> it's a chihuahua with a pink bow in its hair. Right? I'm like, how, do, how does this dog serve you? A better guy, how does this little rat-like piece of fluff serve any purpose in society whatsoever? Right? Yeah. Right? I mean, I, I could see if it was like a German Shepherd. You know, one of those police yeah. bomb dogs, right? Right? But what I can't see is Sergeant Rick gathering his men together and saying, Gentlemen, there's a dangerous situation. Quick! Bring in the Chihuahua! <laughs> right? But, but of course she's like, it's for my anxiety. <laughs> he soothes my anxiety. Whenever I'm sad, he just licks my face and makes me happy. Dying on the battlefield, the nurse is running towards him, and he's like, no, not the first aid kit. Bring me a cute Pomeranian. <laughs> or like, like a firefighter runs into a burning building. He gets that glass case that says break in case of emergency, but this time, instead of a fire hose, there's a puggle. <laughs> up against the glass, like a blonde pops up. She's like, yeah, we had an apartment building meeting, and we just figured that his half pug, half poodle face was way more useful than like water. 